Tonight, from Los Angeles, California, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Justin Herbert and the L.A. Chargers taking on Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. Night beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. Always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? two-minute drill, maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. We are just about ready. Cameron Dicker has the honors, and we are underway here at SoFi. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Bengals make their way out on offense for the first time, led by their fifth-year quarterback out of LSU, Joe Burrow. Burrow is coming off a year where he suffered his second season-ending injury over a four-year span. And while that's certainly concerning, there's certainly no denying he's truly one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL whenever he's on the field. However, for them to reach their full potential, he has to be out there because as long as he is, this team is a legitimate contender to win it all. Quickly to the air is Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And yeah, nothing to speak of there after the catch as they get him right to the ground at the 37. 13 yards on the game's opening play. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says our guy is better than your guy's up. Because you know, a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. Well, he's one of the top receivers in the game, Charles. So no surprise here on the opening drive. They want to get him involved. And he has catches on back-to-back -back plays. And Brandon, I look at it from the defense's perspective. You know he's one of the top receivers in the game. You've got to find ways to slow him down because if he gets into high gear, he's going to shred you all game long. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Again, it's Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, four four, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game, like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master surgeon at work. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 31. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. 
And that would complete once again to Higgins. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Second and seven. They'll run for the first time here with Brown. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Third and two, now Burrow. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Bengals! Mike Gesicki, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Bengals will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. And he's got it to make it 7 nothing Bengals. So that drive in total, eight plays. And it all concluded with a touchdown pass to the tight end, Mike Gesicki. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Chargers coming out to take over, and it is Justin Herbert at quarterback CD, now in his fifth NFL campaign. And he's looking to bounce back after an injury-riddled season a year ago. Herbert, obviously one of the most talented quarterbacks in the league, but that doesn't do you any good when you're standing on the sidelines wearing a baseball cap. If this team's ever going to reach their full potential, they've got to find a way to keep him upright. And with his new head coach, Jim Harbaugh, in the fold, they'll do exactly that. They'll have a chance to win a lot of games with Justin Herbert on the field. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10. Just shy of the 30. They'll drop to throw. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Trey Hendrickson showing off his pass rush repertoire that time. And they get to him right out of the gate. And this defense hoping that that's a harbinger of things to come. Yeah, when you give up a first place sack, Makes your quarterback wonder if he's going to go to the sidelines and talk with his offense coordinator and head coach and say, hey, you know that game plan we put together? We might need to change it right now. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. On the run, this is J.K. Dobbins. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Third down and 13. 
Now Herbert with it looking to pass. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. And this play comes to a halt at the 33. And obviously that's well short of the first down. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks, don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. down J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Charlie Jones deep for Cincinnati. So a change of possession here on the punt and the Bengals take over first and ten. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. That'd be ideal. They will throw on first down with Burrow. This one complete to Yoshibas. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. They work now on second and nine. Now it's Burrow. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. And after an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. A leaping, and he makes the grab. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 17 and a Cincinnati first down. Here we go. After run, 7-0 on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Burrow. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Here we go. Now a second and ten. Now it's Burrow. Now a short one to Gesicki, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. On third down, Burrow. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds, so a big call there. That brings up fourth. Now, that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously, no loss of confidence with that defense, and now they get to turn it back to their offense. 
The Bengals bring out their punter now. Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Chargers will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out of a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves Jack that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Second and 10. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. It's taken in by Quentin Johnston. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Herbert wants to throw it on third and one. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Now Dobbins again on second down. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now a third and six. Now it's Herbert. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Last play, they didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Now they gain all those 40 yards here. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 26-yard line. Dobbins running out of the gun. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. So that time they got the left guard with a hole. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. Running left is Edwards. 
That's a gain of six on the first down run. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Back to throw here, Herbert. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Herbert now going for it all. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? And his kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Burrow looking to pass. Now a short one to Gesicki. It'll be a gain of five. And it's second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here's second and five now from the 37. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. Now a short one to Gesicki. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Third and three. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit of a mind meld here, aren't we? Because I'm thinking along the same lines as you. This amount of time, don't be compelled to play it too safe. This is a chance to get points on the board. Press it a little bit. And especially since a touchdown here gets you the lead. 
On first and 10, Herbert. They set up the screen for Dobbins. Now the Chargers gonna signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second and six. Here's Herbert. Targeting Dobbins again, and he's got it again. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Here is third down and four. Here's Herbert. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Here's J.K. Scott set to do the punting honors. Here's Jones. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And the Bengals will take over here first and ten. The Bengals going to take over late in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Here we go. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Now Burrow. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Burrow will throw. Got a man. It's Brown. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. This now a third and four. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That is caught. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. First down. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football. Lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete with the clock showing 18 seconds now to go. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. 
just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now a give left side, Brown with it. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, back to you, too, in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Chargers going to get the football first here in the second half, and they trail as we get back underway. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Second half starts with a run by Dobbins. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Herbert. Pass out left finds Johnston. And he's going to be touched down, but he's got the first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first down, Justin Herbert. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Here's a second and five. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 38-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Zone coverage here defensively. They're going to let their tight end run a drag across the field. This is where a linebacker gets forced to pass him off. That time, the receiver gets lost a little bit, and he's able to make the catch and pick up good yardage in a first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Flush to his right, and he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. 
He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Here's Herbert now on second down. That is incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback, so that's the right call there to just throw that one away. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Looking to throw, Herbert. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 13-yard line. 21 yards there on third down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They go back to the ground with Dobbins. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out in the field for a long time. And that last run, they just cut right through them. Facing a second and six from the 8. Another run here with Dobbins. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now look, hey, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. Third and two. Back to throw. Herbert. Open man, it's Johnston. Touchdown, Chargers. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Chargers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead is now 10-7. A 10-play drive that time. And it was Quinton Johnston who finished that drive off with a touchdown grab. After the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. First down, here's Burrow. Now a short one to Gesicki. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. 
From the 34-yard line, here's second and a couple. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Open man is Yoshivas. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, you scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. Over the middle, he's got Gasicki, the big 6-5 tight end. Call it a gain of six on the play at its second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. So from the 36 now, first and 10. He'll look to throw. Now a short one to Gesicki. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that'll make it second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now Burrow to throw on second down. Out of his hands quickly to Higgins. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 21. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. It's complete to Brown, right side. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. This second and four. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Open man is Higgins, and he's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Bengals answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. And McPherson on for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. 
A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was T. Higgins who capped the drive with the touchdown reception. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And no thought of bringing this one out. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll begin the drive at the 30. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throw over the middle, and it's caught by Johnston. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. A play fake and now Herbert to throw. He gets it to Johnston. And he's brought down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him and it's another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 43. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And here is a leaping catch. He pulled it in. That's now three straight plays of over 15 yards and three straight first downs. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. Three timeouts plus the two minute warning. Here's first and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's caught right side by Palmer. And they'll work it inside the 15 yard line before it's all said and done. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. They'll come up first and ten here. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he'll be taken down here at about the eleven. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Here comes second down. Herbert. And he's got it. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. They have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Edwards, touchdown, Chargers. This 
is the time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead. Important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told, and it was polished off by the Gus Edwards touchdown run. Dicker now as he'll send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So Burrow and the Bengals down 17-14. Less than 90 seconds to go. And they need at minimum three points out of this as they come up first and 10. to throw Burrow. Pass complete to Higgins. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. They come up now on second and two. Here's Burrow. And that's complete to Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and 10 now. Now he's forced out left. Going for Burton, and he's got it. And he'll be brought down with a penalty flag on the field. It was a late decision to throw, and it might have been too late. Well, we knew he was close to the line of scrimmage, and they say he stepped over. Well, when you see him in that position, you think he's become a runner. As a DB, you start to react towards the line of scrimmage. They can often throw it over your head. Here's second down. Throwing Burrow. And that's into the hands of Gesicki. And this is not going to be what they need. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. to pick up the first. Now Burrow. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And the Chargers have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off.
Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take a knee. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Herbert to a knee, and that should just about write it into this one. Well, partner, you and I were excited for this one today and certainly had its moments. Some good execution at times by both of these offenses. Defenses both made some plays as well. And always a joy to be up here in the booth next to you, my friend. Yeah, it's a privilege to be up here in the booth next to you as well. Thanks for taking the time. And let's go ahead and get ready for our next one, right? I'll see you in the film room. Get that preparation started now. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. So long, everybody.